All right, so you want to have it set up to where you don't have to do this every time. You want to use it. So what that you should do is go to My Documents. You should have a Cakewalk folder. Go inside that folder. Then you'll see Sonar 7, Sonar 8, or whatever you're using. Go inside that folder. And then go into the sample content. Now, I believe the older, older sonars, like Sonar 2 and 3, the sample content and the tutorial, like as you see right here, is actually inside the uh, Cakewalk folder in the uh, programs. But, um, but if you're using Sonar 8, Sonar 7, or whatever, then the sample content should be in My Documents. So My Documents, Cakewalk, and then whatever sonar you're using. Then you go into sample content. Now you want to save your your save as type to template. Name it whatever you want. You can name it Corgan 3 Control 16 Audio Track or whatever. Because these are all the templates when you first start sonar, you start a new project. And you know when it asks you, you know, do you want to do normal, which is the default one, is normal. But these are all the little different templates. Or if you save it in this folder, when you start a new template, you better choose the one that you custom made. And that way, all your control numbers and your volumes are set already. You have your M3. You go to external mode. Find the setup. And you're good. You will be able to control sonar with no problem. You don't have to go through all the setting up anymore. All right. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it helped you. If you have any questions, you can leave comments. Please rate. And if you think that, you know, if you know somebody else who has Sonar or who has a Corgan 3, share the video. They might, they might be able to, you know, be able to use it. All right. Peace.